morning. So hi everyone and welcome to our weekly Facebook Live. My name is Solange from the business and career site for women, thecorporatesister.com. If you're new to the group, welcome to our community. If you've been in the group, thank you so much for being part of this community, for your insights, your comments, and, and, and just being there um, as, as a member of the group. So this month, we've been talking about productivity, and it's hard to believe, but we're already halfway through the second week of, uh, of January. And we're still going after those goals, we're still going after those objectives. And we've been sharing some productivity tips and tools in, uh, in the group. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today is about our productivity blocks, because you know it's one thing to really want to better our productivity habits and, and, and really want to do better when it comes to being more efficient in our work and in our lives in general. But it's another to point to pinpoint those areas that are kind of triggers for us, that are kind of blocks to our productivity. And nowadays, there are so many of them. I mean, 99.999% of them for me are in this thing that kind of makes us lose our focus so easily. So between smartphones and between being readily accessible on social media, text messages, or what have you, and having so many more obligations and, com and commitments with life from family to significant others to friends, networks, and what have you, it becomes really, really hard to have optimal productivity in our work and in our lives. And you know, as I, as I was learning about productivity, I started categorizing my productivity blocks in three main categories, and they're the easiest categories, but sometimes we just don't think about them. And they're easy, they're the things that surround us, the people that surround us, and the mindset we have. So, you know, I'm challenging us to think more about our productivity blocks in terms of these three categories the things, the people, and the mindset that are either around us or within us. Let's start with mindset. When it comes to mindset, do you notice how sometimes when you get ready to tackle a challenging task or something that you really don't feel like doing or something that's challenging you that you don't feel like you're qualified to do, you tend to procrastinate? I know. You tend to procrastinate and not to be as productive. And you know what I've started doing is really started triggering those thoughts and those mindset patterns that start happening every time my productivity goes down a notch or a hundred several notches, you know, down. Uh, what are those thoughts that come to you when you start procrastinating? What are the triggers, you know, in your mindset that really make you less productive? Is it thoughts of inadequacy, like I can't do this, I'm not qualified enough, I don't have the right connections, I don't have the right degrees? Uh, you you know, is it thoughts like, you know, I'm not good enough for this? Whatever thoughts are being triggered by some tasks or some areas that you're working in and are making you unproductive are really your blocks. And it's really important to start, you know, targeting those thoughts, learning to recognize them first and start targeting them. So you can, you know, you can either move on or like attack those thoughts as soon as they come in uh, and really try to, to train your mind to think differently. So our mindset is enemy number one when it comes to to being productive, especially for us uh, working women. I had mentioned in a prior Facebook Live uh, how you know a woman will not um, apply for a job unless she has 100% of the requirements demanded by the job, whereas a man for the same job and the same requirements will go for the job if, if he only has 60% of the requirements in hand, which goes a long way uh, to, to say that really we have those mindset and those thought patterns that can really block us, make us less productive, make us less efficient. And, you know, it's not always our fault. We may be conditioned by environment, or we may have been raised a certain way that doesn't allow us to really have the positive mindset patterns to, to develop and to really keep being as productive as possible. So let's challenge ourselves to recognize those mindset patterns, those triggers that make us, you know, procrastinate and that make us think that we can't do something and make us less, uh, less productive. Mindset was number one. People is number two. And that's a more challenging um, area. It was definitely for me because I'm very attached to the people around me. But, uh, and I call them energy vampire. There are those people around us that just, you know, kill our productive 
productivity, whether it's through their negativity or because they're unsupportive uh, or, you know, because they're just feeding us all kinds of, you know, negative things that slow us down and make us less productive. We all have those individuals around us that suck the productivity out of us. So it's important for us, as challenging as it is, to start recognizing who these people are and to start kind of, you know, finding ways to lessening their impact on us. I remember watching a show uh, with uh, Steve Harvey. It's actually his show. And he was sharing a tip in the show by, you know, saying that, pretty much twice every year, he goes through his list of friends and acquaintances and, and really makes an inventory. And whoever, you know, really brings out the worst in him or really doesn't help him grow, he kind of cut them off. And at first I was kind of iffy about it. It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a harsh way to go about things. But if you think about it, uh, it happens in everyone's life to have these relationships with these people who are part of your personal circle, your circle of family and friends, your professional network. Um, you know, whether it's negative co-workers, unsupportive friends or family members that are really slowing you down. And it's important to recognize when that happens and, and to start lessening this, the impact. It doesn't mean cutting people off completely. It doesn't mean, you know, being all harsh in our decisions when it comes to our relationships, but learning what those triggers are and trying to avoid those triggers when they come to us, whether it's lessening our contact or, you know, uh, having talks with, uh, with people or, or sharing and communicating with other people what our goals and objectives are and what our needs are when it comes to fulfilling those goals and, and objectives. That was the second area people quite challenging but but very possible and the third area is things the things that surround us that consume our time energy and have very little if not zero return for us in terms of our work and our lives um i happen if you know me i happen to like shoes like a lot like too much and i used to have this you know sizable shoe habit where i would just buy lots of shoes that I couldn't possibly wear that I would have issues storing and managing because in my area we have these tiny you know itsy bitsy closets that you can't put much in so every season I would have to shuffle down to the basement the, the shoes for one season and put up the shoes for the other season and it would take me two or three hours you know and that's just my time on on items that I would not necessarily use all of the time and would not bring me any return and then when you think about the money that you spend on certain things and certain items that don't bring you any return, that's money that can be invested in mutual funds. If you have kids in college funds, uh, that's money that can be saved. That's really money that can be used to build or grow that business for many different purposes. So when we think about the things that surround us, the things that we purchase, the things we surround ourselves with, and how much time, money, and energy it takes us to manage them, purchase them keep them that's all stuff that's keeping us away from being more productive uh, you know I remember reading an article about you know entrepreneurs the likes of Mark Zuckerberg and um, the founder of Apple and how they would even streamline their wardrobe and their dressing process to only spend a few minutes every day getting dressed so they would have a series of black turtlenecks a series of uh, uh, blue jeans and every morning it would take them a couple of minutes to get dressed now you know if you're like me it takes you more than a couple of minutes to get dressed right although I'm working on it um, you know but sometimes some of these decisions that are not really bringing us much return certainly we have to take care of ourselves dress appropriately for work and networking events and things like that but sometimes they take us more time than we should you know we should afford to invest in them so some of these things and some of these activities around us that we can streamline, it's important to start looking at them and start finding ways that we can minimize our investment of time and energy in things and activities that are bringing us zero return. So those are the three categories that I'm challenging myself and I challenge you guys to, to consider when it comes to really increasing our productivity and, and just being more efficient in general things, people, and mindset. I'll be sharing in the group uh, a quick PDF uh, with the, these three categories uh, for us to start kind of recording the triggers and the blocks that we experience when it comes to our productivity uh, and, and 
learn to identify and recognize them so we can address them more appropriately. And speaking of productivity, I wanted to remind you guys of the upcoming productivity challenge starting on January 15th through January 21st. I've pinned the post at the top of the group uh, and it's an email challenge that you can, um, you can sign up for and it will basically walk all of us through uh, productivity tips, tools, blocks, triggers, and what have you when it comes to being more efficient, especially as we're starting 2018. So I'd be curious to know what your insights are in terms of um, identifying your triggers and your productivity blocks and what you found those productivity blocks are and how you address them every every day or as much as you can. Uh, because any tip or insight that you share can be used by someone else in the group who may really need them. All right, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next Facebook Live.